Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is part six for a step by step guide to learn Angular. So these are the topics we are going to cover in this complete video series. And in the previous video, uh, we were study about routing and we created one basic route. So if you are coming directly to, to this video, so I will recommend you to watch previous video first and then you can come to this video. You can find the previous video links in the description block. So we created one basic route previously and uh, this is the application we are going to develop in this complete video series and now we are going to see about wildcard route so let's open visual code so quick recap so this is the routes we added when the path is empty then we are loading the our login component when path is register we are uh, appending our register component and when path is home so we are appending our home component but our home is a parent of our to do and dashboard component so we didn't edit code for home children so now before we begin let's uh, run this application so open your terminal and run ng serve and enter It's compiled successfully, so let's press Control and click on this link. Yeah, so when path is empty, we can see our login control component. And when path is home, we can see links for dashboard to do and logout and common layout for header and footer. When path is registered, we can see register box that register component but now instead of this register by mistake if i'm adding some additional characters here so let's see what happens so i can see no child is rendered for this layout so i don't want this behavior i want my user to get some message so in this situation we can use a wildcard routing so let's implement it so for this uh, i'm going to create one new component so let's uh, right click on app folder click new file and that component is not found component so i am giving name not found dot component dot ts and now let's open this and we need to export this class export class not found component so to make this component we need component decorator on top of this class so let's add this and we need to add metadata for that so what is a selector for it so let's add selector like uh, app dash not found and i'm going to add one template so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add one h1 tag page not found please check url and now we must associate this component to our module so let's copy this and this is in our root so it should be in our app module so let's open our app module and let's declare it so i am going to edit it here and now let's add dependency yeah so now we added our app module and not found component and now i am going to add our 
wildcard route so to the head that so in the path i am going to add two asterisk okay so this uh, represent for the wildcard and our component should be our not found component yeah so i am running in the watch mode so i should see our changes in the browser now so let's open the browser window so now we can see our login page now let's open register and i can see our registration is pages uh, rendering correctly so now i'm going to misspell this uh, register and I'm going to add something and I'm entering it so I can see now my wildcard route is rendered here. Let's add something else. Yeah, for all every other uh, than our defined path, I am getting our wildcard route. So we added basic route for our application and we created our not found component uh, that wildcard route for our application and now let's talk about lazy loading. So what is lazy loading? So by default uh, in our Angular we have eager loading. Eager loading means uh, whenever our apps gets load all the modules are getting loaded by that. So when uh, we are working on many big application and if you are loading all the modules uh, at once so it may affect on your performance to resolve that we use lazy loading so let's add lazy loading for our application so as uh, previously we discussed we created our home component as a layout for our dashboard and to do so now uh, i'm going to define a path for home children which is uh, dashboard and to do so i can use here children and it would be array and inside that i am going to define the path for our children so what i want is when path is empty i want to load my dashboard so this time i am want to use lazy loading so for lazy loading, I want to load the dashboard module first. So how I can do that? I can use this load children method here. And here I am going to use this import. And where we have dashboard, then dashboard module. And then... So when path is empty, means uh, when when we are at home, I want to load our dashboard. And uh, similar to that, what I want to do is, let's copy this code and paste it. I want when path is to do, means home then slash to do, what I want to load, I want to load my to-do module. So let's hit to-do, to-do module and this would be to-do. Now let's save this and now open our home HTML page. So this is a HTML we created and this links we added. So to add the navigation, we can use router link directive here. So router link for dashboard, what should be the our route? So it should be home. So let's add home here. For to do, let's copy this. For to do, what should be our route? For to do, it should be home slash to do. Now I am going to add some styles for this UL and LI block. So 
for that is we don't have any external style file so let's quickly create this style urls and here i'm going to add home dot component dot css and i am going to save this and let's right click on our app folder and select a new file and paste it and these are the styles i am going to add to add some styles to our link so i'm going to paste it here so now let's go back to our app module to check our routes so what we are doing is we are lazy loading our dashboard module and to do module but uh, we did not define what component need to load what children need to note for that module so that part we can do in we can do on the feature modules this dashboard module and to do modules so let's open our dashboard module first so here also we need a router module and we need to define our route it should be type of route routes and let's add array and let's associate this with the router module so previously when it was app module we define it for root but this is for our child so let's add the route here and it should be routes so let's change it to routes and rename it to routes so what i want is that same story again we need to define path and what i'm doing when path is empty i want to load to our dashboard component so th this is our very simple and small application but in real time we have multiple child paths here so currently we have only one dashboard component so now i am going to copy this and paste this in the to do module also so let's open it here and let's paste it here so to do also when path is empty what component i want to load i want to load to do component let's add the library so visual code will help if you click on quick fix it will ask you to import our angular router here and uh, what we need to import for routing we need to import router module so let's import our router module and here i also we need to associate this routes with the, this router module how we can do that this is for child so it should be for false child so we are done with the, this lazy loading part so let's verify our changes so let's go to terminal and run ng serve and enter so it's compiled successfully so now click control and click on this link so by default our login component is getting loaded now let's check for home click enter yeah so this is the styles we added for our dashboard home and to do so now we can see by default 
our dashboard component is getting loaded now let's click on to do so now our to do components are getting loaded so and path is home slash to do so now we went through the basic route and we checked how can we add the wildcard route and uh, we lazy loaded our uh, to do component and dashboard component so in the next video we are going to see how we can get the routing information in the component so that's all for this video thank you for watching